Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War Ultimate Apocalypse casts this side of East Yorkshire. And today we have got a free versus free on Triviant Groves. Playing on the southern side, there's the Chaos Demons, we've got Warp. We have got Yay playing as the Space Marines, and we've got Hydra playing as the Chaos Space Marines. And on the northern side, we've got Aika playing as the Inquisitorial Demon Hunters. We have got I'm a Beginner playing as the Space Marines, and we have got Roman228 playing as the Dark Eldar. So Blast for the Past is Trivian Groves. If you were a fan of the original Soulstorm vanilla games and you played campaign as the Orcs a fair bit, you'll probably be very familiar with this map as the Orcs would spawn somewhere down here and then the Tau would usually spawn over here and, well, you just get your Big Mech. So not your Big Mech, you get your Warboss and your Big Mech come over here and crump some blueberries in the face. All good fun way back there. Not sure why the Tau always spawned over here, but, you know, the, the, uh, the, the spawning in the campaign, maybe there were some bits left to be desired back then, but oh my goodness, how how good did we have it in comparison to these days? Pardon me being an old man for five seconds. But yeah, Stormtroopers will be coming out of on this side, so Stormtroopers versus Chaos Space Marines down over here. Some Raptors coming out, because obviously this is quite a long map, so got to make sure that you get out and acquire some land before anything goes down. Got lots of negative cover down here. No, River, it's all been dried up. It's now just a pale comparison to what it used to be. Ooh, you, you an interesting map. Flag even. Little heart. Little heart and a plus. That's very nice. Do have some Hellions. So kind of the same situation going on from the southern side. Dark Eldar versus it is indeed Space Marines. It is Space Marines. So the middle team being the Chaos Demons and the Space Marines for the northern team. Be interested to see which side that they go for, which where they try and help. And actually, Dark Eldar coming from the tippity top northern side down to the southern side of things. One. Mandrake has gone down. And they're trying to avoid being stabbed in the back by these Furies. They're just doing a bit of scouting, maybe? A bit of reconnoitering, seeing what's going on? Before some of the Hydras... Not Hydras. These Warpy Beasts go off about their wicked and foul business. They've been given an infiltration detection uh, thing we do, Dad. To help them sneak about the place. Raptor's going to jump straight in. In fact, double squads of Raptors. As well as some Assault Marines here. So a very melee-orientated composition going on for the Southern Team. Or Northern Team, even. Is it Southern Team? Summon team it is, indeed. Yep. It's going to be hard with, with Space Marines being on both sides. But thankfully, one Space Marine player is a, a bright red, and the other one's slightly darker red. So that's not going to be confusing for me at all from a casting perspective. Raptors hanging around the negative cover. That's not where they want to be. As the Stormtroopers... I've actually got some elite Stormtroopers here. They'll do a significantly larger amount of damage in the range department. Two squads of them going to see if they can keep away these... Blooming jump pack dudes. In fact, actually, they're quite handedly beating them back. Almost getting a squad wiped there. I think there were a fair few models been lost in that engagement. Cultists also coming over and seeing what they can do, preventing the critical location from being captured. But it does seem that the northern team will be having the lion's share of land down over on this side, as well as the northern side, actually. So, Team South need to go and do something about it. Demon Lord with a mighty sword looking to crump these Hellions. One Hellion does go down. Quite a lot of damage coming from this listing post here. But they've managed to crack open this strategic point down on this side. We'll be trying to prevent the Tortured Slave from getting any perking on that Tower of Loving, but they do not get him down. They do manage to kill him, though. So a little bit of revenge, all things considered. Inquisitorial Demon Hunters popping down. A Icon of Purification will also go for the Relic there as well. What's going on in the centre? It's Kelsey demon -y people. Are doing an amazing amount of damage. They'll do what they can, but will not be able to get this down before the Tower of Loving is upgraded. But actually, quite quite focus on the Furies. You don't normally see a Chaos Demon player focusing so much on these guys. You tend to see them go for something a bit more thematic. Well, quite often you see a, a big ball of blue horrors from them. But okay, all right. They're just going for the more mo maneuverable, more mobile fighting force there. Let's see first down on this side. Has been taken down. Lots of Chaos Space Marines, Raptors, and Assault Marines ready to get jumped in. And here we go. Moving forward. Just, just edging forward a little bit. Lots of negative cover here, though. So have to absolutely prevent these guys from firing. We'll require both the Space Marines and the Chaos Space Marines working nicely together. Making sure that they cover specific units. It's going to be quite hard. With a range composition, it's a lot easier because just A move. And focus on the baddies, but these guys, each individual 
Assault Marine and Raptor Squad are going to have to focus on a different unit if they want to go and be successful in this engagement. It does seem a nice little spread. Two squads down the southern side, two squads on the northern side. And while, yes, okay, fair enough, the elite stormtroopers on the backside are getting involved. It's a fairly decent engagement. Stormtroopers definitely cannot keep up in close combat against these guys. The regular old Space Marines will be able to do so, but there's even more elite stormtroopers coming on on the northern side right over here. Listing post has been taken down by the brother captain. And while it was a very good engagement for the Chaos and Space Marines, they are... Actually, I don't know. I don't know. They've got a squad wiped down here. Uh, roundabouts. Maybe. I think. More people have been summoned in. These guys are just falling back a bit just to regain some models before jumping straight back in. Well, that's the problem with these close combat orientated builds. Sure, okay, fair enough. One versus one, they'll be able to win, but it takes them a while and all you have to do is just move a squad out of the way and that really reduces the DPS coming out towards them. And these guys, they're just standing still, having a grand old time. One or two squads may be, jump pack-wise, but in general, you want them supported with some ranged fire. And we're not seeing much in the way of ranged fire, considering that one squad is just being tied up by the singular brother captain. Raptors over here, now avoiding a squad wipe. Going to fall back. Raptors over on this side, exactly the same kind of situation. In fact, nope, both been shot in the middle of the air. So well and truly, pounded and sounded, what else have you got on the go? You've got Held of Slanesh, but she's going to be coming over and trying to take care of whatever's going on here. A raider, packed to the brim of boys, in fact two raiders, just tons of lads. The morale on these Chaos Demons has been broken, well it was broken, now it's not. Oh no it is again. So they're just going to bees away, Demon Lord isn't nearly as mobile, but he's doing a fair bit of damage against the... Raider here. Slicing left, slicing right, but that is not a engagement that he's going to win. The Furies, a nice spread of them. Again, they're not going to take out the buildings. Not anytime soon. They are just being a huge nuisance there. I suppose that's the main point of them. Or sort of means down on this side. Ready to worry about this conglomeration of firepower. Got more Raptors. That's not going to solve your problems, Mr. Hydra. He's going to go for a sacrificial circle, but... So what's the idea? Maybe Chaos Sorcerer with Entanglement. If that's what you call that ability. The, the chains of staying still. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. I have a rough idea. I know what I'm doing. Tower of Loving being slapped about. Still. An orgy of violence. As the Hell of Slanesh is making her way over here. Some pink horrors as well. So yeah, I, th I think maybe they're just going to focus on bashing those listing posts, but... There's all this stuff just casually walking into the base. Been flanked by some assault marines and some raptors, actually. Grenades been thrown around. Chaos marines providing some f firing support. Got the heavy bottle to it as well on the go. Some corn berserkers, right? So they're just really committing to the close combat stuff going on. Yeah, he's bringing down a hellfire dreadnought. So finally some firing support for him. And it's just... Chaos, left, right, and centre. Both figuratively and literally. You're going to see a Chaos... Oh, a Chaos Psyker. Okay, all right. Quite a powerful casting unit. Very similar to the Imperial Guards one in the sense that they've just bring down a lot of damage towards groups of units as well as individual characters, if memory serves. Doom being witnessed by where... Where are you? Ah, you're over there in the middle, but dying quite quickly. Need to really attach him to a squad if you want him to survive. He's unlike the Chaos Sorcerer. I could take a bit of a beating. Bring out some big explosions. There we go. That's what you want. And now a Blood Crusher as well. So it does look like... I mean, what... They were throwing these guys away. I wonder if that was just because they're building up something extra. They, they've got some vehicular stuff on the go. But... Now they're kind of just throwing away a whole fighting force there. They could have at least repositioned themselves, but... Yeah, you've got to appreciate that final stand, man. You've got to appreciate it. And over on this side, Pink Horror's Akimba. Maybe they were trying to stay there just to inspire the Pink Horrors to come back and try to defend their homeland, but... No, these guys have committed. And now they're killing anything and everything. Got some witches on the go. Stabbing away that Herald of Slanesh, getting a little bit of 
Earn back. Can't imagine being a Dark Eldar or an Eldar and having a good time fighting the Force of Celestia. It must be a genuine nightmare. Shadow Fiends coming on the left hand side. All morale being broken over here. And that's going to be a huge amount of damage being done to the Pink Horrors. Whenever they've got no morale, they do take gradual damage over time. So need to make sure that they're okay, but Pink Horrors being able to turn around and focus on that Raider quite nicely. Back over down here, Thermoplasma Generator. No longer for this world, unless anyone can save them. Got a significant amount of scouts. Got to go for some snipers as well as a Devastator Marine squad. And I mean, yeah, long range firepower, that's the way forward, but is it too much now? Is there too much close combat maneuverability stuff to really get a good shot off? I mean, they've, they've, they've snared the Devastators down here, but nothing really to fall back on or, or, to, or to follow up on that. Could have saved that ability for a little later on. Double Blood Crushers on the way in. Also got a Grey Knight Strike Team. And with their wonderfully coloured Purification Cannons. Side Cannons, that's what they're called. But lots of big stuff. We've got you, Blood Crusher. What are you doing? You're just chilling out. He's having a break. Bless him. Can't be easy crushing blood all day long, can it? We've got the Land Speed of Tempest on... High, firing down. Assault Marines doing what they do best. The Grey Knight's just unleashing all hell. Just to get also in the ranks as well. Because anyone gets too close to him, but one guy falls down. Scout's getting some Sniperine shots off, but... Not doing that much. Assault Squad will be wiped out, though. But that's given them plenty of time to get that Thermoplasm Generator down. As well as focus on a few of these Devastators down here. Space Marines holding off quite valiantly. There's only so much punching you could do to a Blood Crusher. Only so much you could do indeed. Chaos Sorcerer in there. Just for good measure. And we do see a mass of Demonettes waltzing forwards. So Korn and Slanesh, best pals for once in their lives. Korn Berserkers. Now that's a little bit too much firepower for them to really push forward on. So the Hellfire Dreadnoughts does have some of that damage, but then decide to fall back. To be fair, these guys don't need to push any much any further. Not while all this is going on. As long as one side is pushing, as long as one side is gaining ground, that's all that matters. And the witches are coming out to play. We also have an Archon and a Homunculus. It's a big pimp daddy himself coming out. Got that claw on the go. Another Held of Slanesh. Instantly surrounded and instantly killed. Witches are absolutely devastating in close combat. Not sure if the Blood Crusher will be able to stand up against them. To be fair, I think they will be able to. They are vehicles after all. Nerglings, 20 of them. Just hobgobbling about. Swatted away by the witches, but... Big boom from the Demon Lord on the other side. Knocking them all over. I mean, I don't think there's enough witches... I mean, they've, they've got... A, look, look at the speed on these guys. Swift and nimble. Also got that soul portal as well. They're teleporting people about. One of the Dark Eldar soul abilities, I do believe. Or not, if, if it's not a soul ability, it's... the Homunculus or the Archon. Someone, someone's brought it to the party. Raider armed with some warriors in there as well. What's going on down here? Just a constant push forward. Good use of the Landspeed of Tempest. They've got the crack missiles focusing on the Dreadnoughts. One Dreadnought has gone down. And it does seem that the steam from the southern side is petering out just a smidgen. But it's still got the Corn Berserkers. I think so. You're not Corn Berserkers. You are just regular Chaos Space Marines. Never mind me. Yep, so they're going to be pushed back all the way back home. Whereas the witches are actually holding off all these demons did not expect that. Double raiders as well. The Neglings keep on coming. Their numbers, no, no bounds. Homunculus in there, firing away with his big poisony pistol. The Neglings surrounding the raider. Down of these guys do much damage, in fact, their damage are almost exclusively morale. And vehicles don't have morale, for they are unthinking, uncaring machines. 
I can't lift no incubi friends. He's just there for the good times. Not much. Yeah, they, they, I don't think these ladies have exactly much going on for killing vehicles, but. Oh, they won't because they're. Right. <laughs> Silly me, because of course they're, they're their own vehicles. Why would they kill their own vehicles? Silly me. I'm always used to seeing Dark Eldar on the. On the. That, never mind. That's, that's It's me losing my brain. That's what it is. Got some like, purgation. Hellfire Dreadnoughts. Double of them. Long las, double las cannons. As well as missile launchers. Any vehicles nearby will be shredded to high heavens. Seeing some heavy weapon increases. Some target finders. But not much coming from the Chaos Space Marines at the moment. Don't seem like I've got much to, in the defensive capacity here. Got a Havoc or two. I'll have missile launchers to get the Pegasus Hellfire Dreadnoughts down. Chaos Source have been used wonderfully all the way through this game, actually. Fro throwing down some fireballs down there. Also, snaring those Grey Knight Strike teams. Got the Assault Marines coming down now on this side, as well as triple Hellfire Dreadnoughts. And some... Yeah, and some... At Lance be the Tempest of their own. So, good little counter flank coming from Ye over on that side. While that's going on, the Chaos Demons are now. Yeah, it does seem that like everyone's focusing more on the southern side of things. Can't mess with those witches at the moment, and that's a significant. My goodness, look at the size of these! Look at the size of the Talos. They've made the Talos good for once. Look at him. Two big stonking units. Maybe we'll see Talos Supremacy once and for all on the channel. Gotta understand, boys and girls, if you're new to the channel, we've never seen a good Talos. We've always seen a Talos that tried, but never seen a Talos that succeeded. Maybe we have, I don't know. I'm biased toward I'm biased against the unit. Come on, Berserkers, they're trying. But squad wipe all the same. Lots of snipers on the back lines here. Not being infiltrated, though. Or have you, but we're just on the other team. No, you have not been infiltrated. So, fair enough. So, Vanguard veterans. Swooping in for defensive reasons. Hellsmith repairing everything over on this side. Got some Talos coming under. There we go. Scaring the favoured demonettes. Although, you are wearing no brows, so the zoom out of you. We are family friendly. Ah, look, see, you can use your imagination. The debase. Oh, you, you, on their thumbnail, she's got a bra, but I doubt she's got one. And I zoom in. Double tell us, let's go and do something. Be useful, I dare you. I double, triple dare you. I mean, it's nice that they've got a friend. They're going around together. Just having a little look, you see. And there we go. Ooh! Synchronized. Baddies. Slicing and dicing. Everyone focusing on that economy there before turning around and having a crab fight. Snippers on snippers. Fighting all the strippers. But it doesn't look like he's going to do all that good. Dear, oh dear. Losing a friend. That's sad. But they might be able to at least kill one debaser. Is this, are these Talos is were they, were they viable? Were, were they worth it? I don't know. But it took us on a journey, gosh darn it. And that's the main thing. Goodbye, Talos. It was nice seeing you again. Anyway, lots of raiders. That's, this could be a major problem for Ye over here. As Roman brings in a lot of anti-vehicular damage. Got a Black Drone coming in. Black Drone's good against, well, not vehicles. But hopefully the Bullcrushers can do something that seems to be able to do that much though. A whole host of Furies going forward as we also see down on this side. Just madness and chaos as they're pushed all the way inside the base. Plenty of Vanguard veterans firing away. And oh, a fair Talos, yes. Coming to do us a spin. Save the day, Mr. Talos man. Not bad. Not bad at all. Got lots of tank traps as well from Aika, preventing anyone from coming in or out. Huge damage from the. Why well, you? You are the plasma cannon. Great against heavy infantry. If it's accurate, that is. 
There we go. Snagging these Vanguard veterans. Right in the middle of them. Also, I could a purification putting in some work. Uh, you see, he's, he's not... He's not doing much, is he? He tried. More get Vanguard veterans on left-hand side. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe the corn berserkers. And it does seem the left flank of the southern push is collapsing. Down this side, it seems like just a, an infinite amount of horrors scared away a fair few of these raiders. Raiders do not have a lot of health or armor at all. So you've got to be very careful if you are caught in position with this many pink boys knocking around. Certainly not the way to go. Homunculus running away, quick! <laughs> Don't fall for that illustrious charm, Mr. Homunculus. This is not the time for you to stand around and get kicked in the face. Maybe he's into it, maybe he's not. We don't kink shame here, but we do judge in silence. And I will certainly be judging the homunculi in the most silent manner possible. Havoc's running away from the witches. There's only one witch there, but she's going to give it her all. And double dude's been summoned in. What is coming out of you? Got Grey Knights and more. Nope, they're not Grey Knight. You are a Hellfire Dreadnought of the Purification Variety. A couple of Heavy Bottle Turrets been placed up, as well as the upgraded Listing Post. For defensive reasons, a fourth Talos. We're really being spoilt here, boys and girls. And the push continues. The back and forth on the southern side has been something else. Down this side, the demons are summoning more bits and bobs out over here. Scaring away these witches. Yeah, no one really pushing too far down the middle. But I suppose there's not much in the way of resources or material to gain through pushing down that side. Still got that soul portal down there. Bit of a disc up. Lots of raiders. Focus firing on the debasers. It doesn't take them long to kill anything at all. Or some trueborn warriors. Incredible range damage. But very fragile, considering what tier they come out in. Need to fall back. As the pink horrors scramble forward on hand and hoof. And what weapons are you going to go for? You're going to go for the dart lances on these true warriors. So very anti-vehicle focused stuff going on. And oh, we've got the artillery. It is the Reaper. Don't fear the Reaper. Seasons something, something change. Yeah, there's a lot of AoE damage when it hits. Just the size of that gaseous expanse. On the other side, there's another push. Heavy Bolter turrets forming a front line. Grey Knights, man, there. That's a problem with going up against the Inquisitorial Demon Hunters. The longer the game goes on, the harder that they are able to really punch back at you. Got some racks on the way. Great in close combat. And a, and a shy Talos just gingerly moving forward. One second. Oh no, never mind. No gingerly at all. He's going to get stuck straight in. Oh, give us a spin. Yeah. I love the immersive way that he grabs his claw and just like swings it around. Like he's just saying, oh, goody, oh boy. Time to go slicing people up again. Yeah. Go on, my son. Go on. Great nice they're killing things. And the Chaos Space Marines look like they're suffering quite considerably. The witch is really adding something to the damage being done here. Demon Lord doing what he can. There's not much he can do really against the witches. They've got no morale though, so maybe we could just keep them in a low morale state. That might help them. Not sure where these Vanguard veterans are sprinting off to. Got a Plague Bearer squad in the middle there somewhere. But just a, a legion of Grey Knights continuing to swarm over. Going to need to pull out something quite drastic if they want to prevent their deaths here. Talos taking down that sacrificial circle. Quite an impressive beast, all things considered. Plague bearers slapping around the Pegaton Hellfire Dreadnought. And what is going on around here? We are seeing the migration of a couple of Hellfire Dreadnoughts coming down here, as well as the artillery of the Shadow Fiends. We'll take a concerted effort. Cannot lose this desecrated stronghold at all. 
as well as first, as well as Cross Space Marines. Tech has been stored in. If they lose that, they've got to go back at, down to tier zero. Champion of Corn out. Go on, get him. Blood for the Blood God. Skulls for the Skull Throne. Got some racks still about. Been stunned by something there. And the mighty amount of Hellfire Dreadnoughts. There's not much in the way of anti vehicle going on here. So rather than fighting until they lose all this stuff, they are going to pull back a little bit. Do I have the killing blur? But I mean, the Chaos Space Replay has lost a hell of a lot of stuff. I mean, what's your economy at the moment? Yeah, not very pretty. What's the kind of. Yeah, the Demon Hunters have got a bit of float going on the go. Space Marines with a Northern variety, not an amazing economy. Dark Elder, yeah, you're, you're totally fine the money but it's primarily yeah it's not looking pretty for the chaos space marines but there is bounce back ability available to them if they are given the space and time to regain all that they've lost outside of here yeah a lot of resources that they miss out on chaos predator on the front lines nothing much Bantai vehicle stuff, like I say. Falling back a little bit farther. Oh, they were worried about the debaser. Okay. So we've got some Pergus and Hellfire Dreadnoughts with last cannons. A whole fleet of Landspeeder Tempest with crack missiles. So we've certainly got an answer to the vehicle stuff now. Scott's been spotted with a servo skull on the go. Very unfortunate, they'll try and scupper away, but only one or two models surviving. Got a, purific purific got a purification decree. Wanted vandalism there. Seeing that lamp be destroyed. These guys will continue their push down on this side. Raiders trying to do a flanking maneuver, but too many debases. Too many pink dudes. Too many flamers as inch. Yeah, that's a dangerous time for them all. White drones of Nurgle. It's like a whole smorgasbord of chaos units here. But they will have to run away. Run away from those debases. Oh, they have a very strong front line of Grey Knights there. Just, a, just an incredible amount of Dreadnought fire. I mean, all got those archivists on the front lines, just in case they need to do any repairing. Dreadnought's been taken down. And some Vanguard veterans of the Northern variety running forward. A chaplain in their ranks just to inspire health regeneration. Oh, we've got some tube bonds. And you've got a lot of Dark Lances on you. Killing that Slushy Herald, which actually has not done a lot of damage or had much use in this game so far. I can't just take it on the chin. Resisting the incoming damage like a no man's business. But he's been he's been scared. He's been possessed by some sort of demonic aberration. Before I've been blasted off into where did you go? Oh dear. Into the bushes with you, says the demon lord. No thank you. For a second I thought he was gonna like just ascend into becoming a demon prince himself. But nope, that's not how the, uh, the Dark Eldar work. No demon princehood for you, I'm afraid. One single lance of Tempest being out of position is to fall back. He wants to live. We've got a counter assault on the northern side. Pink horrors and flames as inch. Will the true horrors be able to take him on? I do probably think so. Look at that range. Should have got dark lances, but those dark lances seem to be doing a lot of damage against demons. Now we have. More melee vanguard veterans. Predators really struggling against the twin link lascans and the land speeder tempests. Absolute meat grinder on the south side here today. I mean, it, it looks like they're doing quite a good job at being ass at assaulting them, but then I mean, these space just come out of nowhere and just continue defending. You think they're all dead, but then they're not. Got a couple of Havoc squads in support. Lots of heavy ball to it. 
Oh, sorry, lots of heavy bolter fire incoming. Going to be scared away by the chaplain and his vanguard veteran boys. Lots of Twilight Sparkle stuff going on up on this side. Shooting down the Blight Drones. Not super quick, but fairly quickly. Big purple boy flies in. Demon Prince of Slanesh. Able to convince enemies to fight each other, I do believe. For a temporary amount of time. Before he goes to town and everyone in close combat. Well, that's another problem. Like, Demon Hunters... Remarkably good against demons. And take it down. No dramas. The perils of the warp beaten back once again. Into a huge explosion of warp fire. And the Grey Knights have got free room to walk to the base. Got quite a lot of firepower coming in from the Demon Fang Obelisks. But it seems that no matter how much firepower they bring to the table... There's always more Grey Knights to shop around with. Predators coming out. We've got lots of Whirlwind Mark 1s. But nothing really to destroy those Hellfire Dreadnoughts. Especially when you've got these Vanguard Veterans just charging in. Causing all sorts of kerfuffle. Down this side of Dark Eldar not giving up. With a constant fall on the backside of the demons. But one Archon just, just shimming around full speed. Got some skulls in his back. Quite nifty, quite cool. But sad to say, it does look like this desecrate stronghold is soon to be dismantled. Attempting to build out another champion of corn. Are you going to rebuild your HQ anywhere? Oh, oh Dinesh, he's giving away the rest of his money. I do quite like that. Before death takes him, he's going to give all his pennies to someone else. Just so they can continue the good fight without him. But what? A stalwart defense and assault from both Chaos Space Marine player and the Inquisitorial Demon Hunters. Look, it's, it's practically New York over here. Very impressive stuff. Hellfire Dreadnoughts can only do so much against themselves. Not on their own, sorry. By themselves, what I was trying to say. This Hellfire Dreadnought just because of being poked in the face. Must be very frustrating. How's the defense going on on this side? There's very little that something team can do apart from show up a good defense here. But those Dreadnoughts not standing up against Demon Prince very much at all. Can he sort out the Trueborn Warriors there? We've lost all the morale. Dice of Destruction. Tur to tur. With the Demon Prince. But Demon Prince goes down once again. Not really impacting much of the battle. As they lose their base. And now it's just Yay in the corner. All his other. He's got a couple of Whirlwind Mark 1s. Which, I absolutely love the Mark 1s. Mildly fire a single missile, but they're quite accurate. And there's a really satisfying little firing arc that they've got. But yeah, this is a sad time for... Well, what are you? Very bulbous... Looking... Firing path there. Did not like that at all. Far too slanesh for my liking. But there we go. So, uh, thank you Roman228 for sending... In that game, it was always a pleasure to uh, cast these kind of games. A lot of the um, Russian-speaking people, they tend to do the vanilla stuff and maybe a couple of unification people, but... Don't really get to see it. Oh, bloody hell. Seeing that uh, ancient web sail being built midway through. Quite interesting looking building there. But yeah, you don't see, don't see many of the Russian people playing Ultimate Apocalypse. At least not from what I see, but it's nice. Good. Well done, everyone. So yeah, thank you for supporting the channel. Have a look at the old Patreon. One pound off gets you one extra game a week. And there's also a Discord. But Discord things happen. Links in the description as always. That's been Miss Landshark. Pleasure as always. Never chat. And I will see you in a bit. Peace.